All right, my friends, at the Seattle 2023 show, I did a video of this particular boat, but we're gonna show this boat right now and I'll show you the other video, guys. I'll link it to this one if you want. But right now we're gonna walk with Bo Palmer and uh, we're gonna see this satellite as well because I promised on my other video that we're gonna show this one. Guys, let me show you this thing, wow. Let me let me get a better shot on this side real quick before I get up there with Bo. I hear you. Look at this, guys. Oh my goodness! And guys, this is a cat haul. Wait for it! Wow, this thing is sick. Oh, well, right. you're fine to leave your shoes now, on. It's okay. Now we're talking about straight up sickness. Yeah, Look at this can, boat, guys. It, it can handle your wow. shoes. All right, now now I'm excited. This is this is exciting for me. All right, let's go ahead and talk to Bo and see what we got up here. Yeah. yeah. This so is a, this is a pretty pretty tough fishing rig. Yeah, man. But that's the fish box. Yeah, it's where you put all your fish. Yeah, that's what it's made for. Yeah, yeah. Well, we got a, what, a seven-year-old buyer? Yeah. Seven-year-old buyer. Let's we go. We haven't checked his credit yet, but it's oh. looking good so How much far. How you guys save? Um, only 95. 95? <laughs> only 95. <laughs> you guys ready to go share? Listen, <laughs> we are ready. Bo so Palmer. Yeah. Um, we teased him with the 34. That we, did, we filmed that. Uh, but now we're on what boat? This, so this is the 32 Wildcat. So this is a 32 foot by 10 foot catamaran. Wildcat, yeah. catamaran, I just showed, wow. Yeah. This thing must be a beast in the water. It is a beast. Okay, um, completely different boat. So tell me the thought process of when and how and what's up, uh, what so, were you thinking about this boat? So the nice thing about this boat, this is really kind of the tough uh, offshore allied build, but mm -hmm. in a catamaran setup that's going to give you that catamaran ride in a head seat, right? So, uh, what's cool about this is this boat has kind of some examples of some of the cool customization that we can do. Like, for example, this is the nice thing about aluminum. You know, it's got a sink back here for rinsing off your gear, uh, hooked up to fresh water. Um, this is the type of things where on aluminum boat we don't need molds and the tooling to be able to do it. We can kind of build your boat however you dream it. Um, this has some uh, pull-out tackle, tackle trays down here. And then you've got these rear jump seats. There's access to your batteries. Um, this again, this particular customer, uh, this boat's going to its new home as soon as the show's over, actually. No! And it's all... I wanted a sea trial on this yeah. guy. Man, this, this thing had a haul over most of the time. It's, it's pretty sweet. So, uh, all suspension seats. Um, this one is all shock waves, so a little bit different than the other one where the other one had shocks on the captain's chairs. This is, this is the similar setup uh, with the shock wave vertical mount suspension system you know, similar to the to the shocks. Um, but the nice part is it matches everything. And then this has some custom shockwave upholstery. Uh, this customer likes likes orange. So hey, he had everything orange. Every Everything and everyone is a little different based on what you like, right? This is what we all work hard for to yeah. have what we want. Yeah. Um, definitely uh, spacious. What are we talking about beam on this particular boat? So we actually just have the owners of this boat that just oh! walked on the boat. So maybe we can talk to them in a minute. They're uh, they're they're here making sure nobody nobody so, tracks any mud on their new boat. Just to wipe off the fingerprints. Well, um, we were just setting up a sea trial without you guys knowing. All right. Well, it's, it's, you know what? It's great because I'll tell you what. Um, I love the boat as far as looking at it. I'm seeing it. I'm like, wow. I'm fascinated. What made you buy it? What made you, what was the, the thought process for you, for you guys? Oh, two things. We're cat guys mm -hmm. and customer service. So that means a lot. Customer service. That matters. Yeah. Right? When somebody answers the phone, when, you, when you're having a world of problems and it's something simple, but you just can't figure it out because for whatever reason you make a phone call and somebody actually answers, 
Remember those days? Now well, it's like a, some automated system. But does a real person answer the phone? That yeah. matters. Yeah, we're a tight community up here in the Northwest, right? Ally's been building boats for a long time and we make some phone calls and there's a lot of good boats out there, right? But after you get the boat at home, something's gonna break, right? You're gonna have questions on something. Yeah. It's a boat, it's what and, we do, yeah. right? So being able to pick up the phone and know that we're gonna be taken care of. You didn't know you were gonna be on camera today, did you? <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah, that's, well, that's good timing. That's yeah. that's awesome. So thank you for for allowing us to be on your boat. Then, so your boat is now now gonna be famous uh, <laughs> because I, I, okay, what hole is this? Is this? Uh, have you been making this hole? Remember, I haven't seen you in four years or three years. Yeah. Since the last time. So yeah. So, so this is a newer addition, um, but. Uh, but this is kind of our, our catamaran line that we're going to be expanding from here too. So we, we have all the sizes drawn from a 28 all the way up to 36. Has we, this boat hit the water yet? This one hasn't yet. Oh, you must be excited. We, we've got another one that has hit the water. Yeah, so they've been we've on had, one very similar we've had for two years. Yeah. No, but I'm saying like you guys probably can't wait. Oh, no, we're chopping the bit, yeah. Get Suzuki to get us some 350s back here and we'll get her on the water. Yeah. Okay, well, listen, I'm, I'm here. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and continue walking here. Um, yeah, so I just, I'll show you these fish boxes. This is kind of a cool thing that, uh, that the customer Lawrence came up with of an idea that has worked out really nice. Nice, removable. Clean. Yeah, you can you can you can unbolt and get in there to get underneath to all the rigging and access to everything. But it's also nice, fully insulated and ready to hold a ton of fish. And those are the same on each side. So did he pay you guys for that idea? <laughs> no, he, he he gave that one for free too. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> all right. And I saw that it's also orange in there as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I see a lot of rod holders, kind of like the 34. Yeah, same thing, you know, the people that are buying our boats are, you know, hardcore offshore fishermen. So you're going to see a lot of the same fishing amenities and stuff. Uh, you know, I have a similar seat up here. Uh, one, one cool thing that the customer requested is these accesses from here so that they can get rods and stuff into some storage up underneath in the bow so they have access to it from the front that's one of the nice things with aluminum is we have some customization and access and this has a berth the cushions aren't in there right now but it does have the ability to throw the cushions up and overnight in there as well so okay so i just got hit by a number yeah 419.999 so 30 how many feet is this one 30, 32. 32. Yeah. 32 cat aluminum for under 500. Yeah. So you guys are, are very competitive yeah. in your price points, right? For for the value. Now, let's just say somebody wanted to finish it out and paint it similar to this. Uh-huh. How much would that reflect on the price? Oh, it's it's probably another fifteen thousand or so to do the site paint and to do that extra paint work. What's What's powering this particular boat? Uh, so this boat's displayed with uh, 300 Yamahas, but but uh, Lawrence and Erica actually have uh, Suzuki 350s that are on the way soon, and so it's going to be set up. It's got the Optimus joystick controls. So you you just you, you just put Yamaha on there just to, to show it at the show? Yeah, and it's priced with the Yamahas right now. Okay. Pretty similar in price with the Suzuki uh, 350s though. Nice. Is there is there access down here in, in, in this? Is this like a cooler area? Yeah. yeah. Nice. So you got a forward uh, cooler box. What's the beam on this? Ten foot. Ten. Yeah. And uh, fuel on capacity on something like this? Oh boy, now. Doesn't matter if, if we don't yeah. got it. Look, we'll probably find it right here. Um, uh, I don't know that we have the fuel we'll, capacity. We'll just, on we'll just Lawrence, find. what's the fuel capacity on this? Two fifty. Two fifty. Just ask the customer. Yeah. The owner doesn't know, guys. <laughs> he knows how much fuel's on it. Let's ask, let's let's go ahead and do the walkthrough with the with the owner. Let's, we're we're talking to the wrong owner. We can't talk to the owner of the company. No, no. Okay, so Bo missed one of the great things with these fish boxes. Uh huh. That in a in 20 years from now, 25 years from now, if someone has to do some work on the aluminum tanks, mm -hmm. gas tanks. Okay. 
pull the fish boxes out, the tanks are going to come right out of the fish box. Which hole. is huge. It's gigantic. Huge. Right? Because anybody that's ever been in a problem with, with a, a fuel tank, which at some point it happens, yeah. it, especially if you're in the water a lot. Right. That's always the biggest nightmare for it. And, and on a fiberglass boil, oh my goodness, right. it's even worse. You're unscrewing yeah. everything. You're yeah, it's aluminum, terrible. You're cutting up the deck. Yeah. And with this boat, we don't have to. And, and right, it's not about a boat having problems. It's when. Right? We've all yeah. had boats for yeah. 20, 30 years or however long. You know, I think Bo showed you where the batteries are. Bo, do me a favor. Listen, are. I'm just going to get the audio here and just let him do the finish. <laughs> <laughs> here, let's change the mic. Okay. I, I love this. I love this because you know what? This, there's nothing more spontaneous than that, right? Yeah. And, and when you see customers, like, you know, you have different layouts, different com configurations. You could have closed this off if you wanted to, right? Yeah. Why didn't you guys want it closed off? Right. Um, because what? Simple. This. We wouldn't be able to sit back here facing aft when we're trolling. There you go. <laughs> and being part of the action, right? The captain is stuck up there. And when, when we have the wall here with the door, then we would want a second help. So that we're part of the action when we're fishing. Can you sit next to there? That. Because now we have like, th this is it, guys. This is gonna be my thumbnail. There it is. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> this is it. Here, I mean, look, no, but okay, but him. okay, but uh, but you see, look, when somebody sees a boat, and in this case, an aluminum boat, you guys can make it however they want it. Yeah. And right now, he's giving you, because of your experiences out there fishing, and what makes you guys comfortable. This is how you want it set up, yeah. right? If you wanted to put some Isen glass or something, you could. You probably have something here if you want to close it off if you can. Exactly what it which is. was probably yeah. a compromise that you you probably thought of, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go, <laughs> right? right? So so it's a matter of getting that. So that's 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 awesome. Um, yeah. I love seeing stuff like one, this. One of the things that you kind of saw with with Anthony in the other video and with Lawrence and Erica, our customers are our best advertising, and, and so we we you know we really don't do a lot of advertising um we just try to work really hard and build awesome boats and take care of our customers and then just having them out on the water is is what really sells the product and so yeah i i think um i'm a I'm a, I'm a fan i'm glad i met you guys last time that we were here and the gentleman he's speaking of is this gentleman over here in the corner that has a 28 liberator on liberator order. on yeah. order nice. yeah. and he stopped me and he said hey, well you know i do the chit show and it's a basically a on, on YouTube okay so he he said hey you gotta stop by and see this 32 this 34 yeah and he he literally <laughs> and I was like whoa hold on a second wait, wait a second what's going on here and then he told me he's got a 28 on order and now seeing your excitement here also here because I'm I'm like okay this is gonna be a tough interview because you know there's people coming in and out of the boat and I don't want to stop stop people from trying to sell a boat but then all of a sudden now we got the owners of the yeah. boat here right. so it's it's just awesome to see that because ultimately you guys are the ones who are going to tell people yeah. call Bo right. he'll take care of you you know yep. uh, and I'm sure you have a great team that you can't do it all right oh yeah you gotta oh. you gotta win tournaments yeah that's right <laughs> I, I gotta go fishing sometime <laughs> so that's okay mm -hmm. Um, where do they go online to get more information on this boat or the other one that we saw, the so, Allied? www.alliedboats.com and they can get all of the information on our boats. And if and if they happen to be in the area in Bremerton, Washington, come by and tour the factory. Bremerton, Washington, pound for pound, the best welders in all of America. All of America. I we, will put... We even have like WWF belts that say <laughs> that for him, I think, somewhere. <laughs> all right, guys. Alfred Mountain, you're making a scene as always. Seattle 2023. We're out of here.